good day. Fred Rocha, I'm here at Melbourne, Florida for the AMYA IOM Region 7 Championship. Today we're on a second day, great weather, great turnout. We have 26 competitors all over the country and we have fun. Here to have fun and hosting 26 guys from all over the country. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Bill. My sale number is 140. I'm a rookie, this is my first regatta. I'm having a hell of a good time. I do not know what to expect by the end of the day. <laughs> it's everybody's guess. Thank you. Hey, I'm Chuck Milliken, uh, president of AMYA. We're here for the District 7 uh, IOM regatta. I sail boat number 21. And uh, today looks like a decent day, but wind isn't quite here yet, it's warming up. So no matter what happens, we've got good friends here and good camaraderie. So, thank you. I'm from uh, Plantation, Florida, and my boat is uh, number 25. It's, uh, it's, con it's called a uh, K2, and uh, I'm here hoping that the breeze will come up in the right direction so that we can have some quality racing. You know, yesterday was very light, but uh, I'm hoping that uh, today we'll get better weather in the right direction. Hopefully, that stick will come from the north. And the camaraderie is great, so I'm glad to be back into the IOM fleet again because I exited for five or three years and now I'm moving again. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Eddie Wolf and my sail number is 141. It's a Vickers V11. It's uh, having a great time down here. Uh, fortunate enough to work remotely and I'm down here with my parents for the winter and doing a bunch of sailing including IOMs. So having a Good time, happy to be here. Yeah, hi, I'm Gary and I'm sailing uh, Britpop and it's USA 7-1. Um, live in San Francisco and felt very fortunate to have Gary Winton put this Region 7 on for our group. You can see today supposedly the breeze is going to fill out of the northwest. Maybe we're going to see three to four. Um, the top portion of this group is separated by a total of six points. So it's still tight racing, but my number one goal being here is to beat Bart. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gary. Uh, I'm a member of the uh, Melbourne uh, Model Yacht Club. Uh, I'm sailing this weekend. I'm sailing a Vickers V11, number 54. And we're, today we're looking forward to some a light breeze. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a few races in before the end of the day. Um, it's, uh, we were able to get in six six races yesterday, and uh, I think everyone here is having a good time. So um, that's that's it. Hi, my name's George, and my gym number's 22. And today we're hoping for some wind, and hopefully it stays from the north. Which this <coughs> pond is perfect for, and. I'm hoping to sail a little better than I did yesterday. 
Henry Cercio, Charleston, South Carolina, here at Melbourne, Florida for the Region 7 Championship. Um, been sailing IOMs for a year. It's, it's a new challenge for me. Uh, great group of people, great venue. Uh, and my long-term goals is, is to beat my partner who's right behind the camera person here. And, uh, but I'm not gonna do it today, I don't think. But it's a great, it's a great organization and a great club and uh, really great sailing. A lot of really competitive and that's what really makes it fun. Thanks. Hey, good morning, my name's Martin. I'm uh, sailing 07 here. I'm from the Charleston uh, Yacht Club. Uh, here at my first major IOM event and just hoping to, to enjoy myself, which I did yesterday and hoping today's just a, another good day. Sounds like a John Deere. My name is Michel, sail number. 1990 and uh, I came from New Jersey to beat the Floridians and uh, I'm originally French and uh, I love this community and I love this park too. Now whether they beat me or I beat them it doesn't matter. At the end we all win. Is that okay? My name is Mike Doyle. I'm from Charleston, West, uh, South Carolina. Uh, I'm selling a, a jib number 29. Uh, I expect the cream to rise to the top today. Uh, we'll see some uh, excellent boaters uh, showing their skills. And I, my attempt is to uh, tackle anybody in the field that I can. You gotta love him, man. He's so good. I'm Peter Feldman. Uh, I sail uh, sail number 44. Uh, I'm from Michigan in the summer and Florida in the winter. We're at the Region 7 in Melbourne. Uh, light winds today. Uh, try and get as many races as we can in. And so, should be a good day. Good morning. How you guys doing? Tony Gonzalez here. Uh, bar 51. Uh, having some fun. Uh, at Space Coast Mall Yacht Club. Uh, today we have uh, very, very light winds. Uh, hopefully we will get some racing in. But uh, having whole lots of fun here in this beautiful sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, approximately temperatures are in the 50s right now, but should warm up to about 70. So really looking forward to sailing and having some fun here with yeah. these guys. This is race nine of day two, A Fleet. Now let's hear the start as they get ready and get up to the line. Seconds. Five, four, clear, and two, one. Two, one, clear. And number 54 and 21 go over early, and they have to go back. And you can see 21 is going back across, 54 already did. And they're off. see the front of the fleet right there. Number 51, Tony, is in first place. And look at 71 come up fast. And way out, you see 44, Peter. And we have a group of four boats all real close right there. What a beautiful sight. As number 11 burst out of the path. Now they're real speeding up right there. You didn't see Peter. Oh, there he is. He's way out there. I guess he's hoping for stronger wind, and it does look pretty strong out there. He's been in his boat over pretty well. And look at that. He gets a good burst and makes his way way out front. Looks like he's got about a six or seven boat lead right there.
it's a beautiful day out here in Melbourne. And right off the bat, I'd love to thank our volunteers for Sale Wars and the people that are helping us set up this red dot. We really appreciate the hard work. Now at this end of the pond, both of those marks, which are both yellow, number one and two, they are going to be gates. In fact, in this race, they're going to laps and both sides are gates. Here goes for the far gate. Now, looking at the gate, it appears that about the same amount are going for the, the far gate as the gate closer to the shore we're on. One of the great things about being with the Cell Wars crew and volunteering with them is I get to go out and talk with the different racers and talking with Peter was really fun. Um, he's a very intelligent man and he gave me some good tips about racing. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Sandy, give us those tips. Well, I'm going to put them right here in my back pocket for my racing. <laughs> Now we can see most of the fleet has made their way around those gates and is traveling back home. Oh, back to what Peter told me. Well, basically, the best tip he gave me was, um, you find your best tack, you know, where the wind is the best, and try to stay on that as long as possible. And that's a great tip, because a lot of times, uh, newer sailors, you know, we, we tend to Pack when we really shouldn't. You gotta, you know, take that wind as far as you can. But there is times when you do have to tack. I don't want you to feel like you never can tack. Um, a good sailor one time told me um, you want to tack if you're not within 45 degrees of your target. And the wind just got a good burst right there. I always take a close look at how these different sailors have their sails as they come down the course. And you definitely can tell the difference. Uh, you'll see a puff of wind and a certain sail position will really push a boat up to the front. Like look at number 71, Gary B. He gets pushed right to the front, taking over first place. And you definitely could see he had his sails in a different position than number 44 and 81 actually closely neared 71 and look at he is pushing his way to the front and now Peter is back in third place. And look at this number 54 or 51 is challenging Peter. Yes, Tony has gotten back up. Now remember, this side is also gates, as we see the, the two leaders going down. And let's see which gate they decide to go with. Remember, with a gate, you go in between both of the marks, and then you pick one mark or the other to turn or tack your way out and around before heading back up the course. And it appears they're gonna take different gates. And what they're hoping for is that you get better wind or, or maybe you don't have to go through the same amount of traffic. But so far, looks like the boat, the red boat up top got a little bit better, but you never know because the wind looks stronger down here closer to us. Let's see who comes out on top here. Whoa, 81 just kind of looks like he got stuck in mud. Baron totally lost the wind right there. As Peter and number 71, Gary B, are catching up to him.
looks like Baron was waiting up for the others and now he's decided, okay, they caught up, so I'm gonna take off again as Baron goes to the front. Look at number 11 is really moving along right there. Number 91 also. And then a big burst of wind just comes right there and pushes number 71 and number 51 up front. So Gary B went to the lead, but here comes Tony. Look at that speed. Tony in that yellow boat goes to the front and takes the lead. Those first four boats are quite a ways in front of the rest of them. Actually, the you saw fifth place, and then there's a huge gap in between fifth and sixth. But that can all change in an instance. As we see, the puff of wind coming there is really pushing those two green boats up the course. And we've completed half of this race. Remember, they're racing two laps. And you can see Tony still in first place, followed number 71, Gary D. Looks like Tony's really extending that lead as he goes down to this set of gates for the last time. Now I want to remind everyone, don't just watch these videos, support the Cell Wars volunteers and show them the love by making sure you subscribe and of course hit that like button. Remember they're doing this just so you can watch these videos and they're taking their time, money and energy to produce these videos. So show them that love. As we see number 51, Tony, head back down the course. He is just really going fast through the slower traffic. And that's where the leaders have to really pay attention when you're going back through the slower fleet. You know, you, the last thing you want to do is get tangled up with one of those boats. So always avoid. Oh, I hear a turtle crossing coming. And wow, you just saw that. Let's look at it from another angle. And you see, I'll bet that turtle didn't appreciate that one bit. That's one of the hazards of this beautiful pond in Melbourne, Florida, is there are some turtles, big and small. Some of them are really big and they don't get out of the way. I've seen many a boats hit the turtles out here. Man, look at that, number 76, Bill, has pulled all the way up in the second place. He must have went around those gates down the other end real well and got a good puff. But look at this. Look at the distance between Tony and Will. Wow. Incredible. Let's see how far Will is in front of the third place. Oh, goodness sakes. Look at that. Will has got like a 25, 30 boat lead over third place. 
So Tony and Wheeler way out front, and Gary W. is in third place. And there's number 21 in fourth place, Chuck M. And number 12, Steve, is coming out behind Chuck. Oh, Gary, I'm going to do it again. And look at that. Tony is already heading back towards that finish line. Incredible. All he's got to do is avoid the slower traffic. Watch out, Tony. And the turtles, of course. We're going to have to get an interview with Tony after this race and inspect that boat with his crew to see if he took on any damage from that turtle hit. Five one. Woo! And Tony wins race eight, eighth lead. Congratulations, Tony. Oh, no. This guy must and as we can see, oh, number 76 is coming across. I guess he's going to take second place. Congratulations, Bill. And both of those two leaders were way out in front as we see a green boat just now heading up the course. And we also see closer to us the pink boat of Chuck. They look like they're in a battle for third place. Let's see who's gonna take third. Will it be Gary W or Chuck M? Gary W out there in that green boat. Chuck in the salmon colored boat. And there's the finish line right there on the right hand side. You can see they're pretty close. It's just going to come down to who has the better angle and who gets the better win and who can avoid, of course, the turtles. <laughs> okay. And it looks like number 54 has got a little bit more speed. Five, four. And he comes across. Gary W. takes third place. Two, one. And Chuck M takes fourth. And look at this. For fifth place, Eight, it's one, so one, close. Two, in. Seven, one, Baron takes fifth. Four, four. And Steve takes sixth. And Gary B takes seventh. And Peter comes across in eighth place. All of them cross that finish line very closely within seconds of each other. If not under a second for a couple of those boats, it was so close. And look at this. Number 11 and 07 coming across. Who's going to win this? They're right at the line. And it is Martin takes ninth and Chuck L takes 10th. And number 91, Jim, okay, comes Charlie across in 11th. Charlie, let's do it. Congratulations to all of our winners. Tony, Will, Gary, Chuck, Baron, and Steve. Now, of course, this guy loved watching Cell Wars, but he did not subscribe. And bad things happen. Avoid the Cell Wars curse and make sure you subscribe. A big thank you to Space Coast Model Selling Club. And, of course, support Cell Wars and stop hitting those turtles. Make sure you hit that like button. Share it with all your friends and family. A lot of people don't know about Cell Wars. And of course, if you're a webmaster, we need your support. Please go to our homepage, copy that little link at the top, and put it on your homepage and let all your members enjoy Cell Wars. And here's our YouTube homepage. This is what it looks like, and the address is highlighted in that top left. And on our homepage, you will see playlists. And we currently have over 130 videos for your enjoyment. And they're also divided up into playlists so you can pick a particular type of boat or a particular type of race or tech article, whatever. Now, I'm Sandy Pondwater, thanking you for joining us. I'll see you at the races.